Shalom Chabrim, I'm Stephen Benoon. You're watching Israeli News Live, October the 14th, 2017, and it is getting very serious near North Korea. You are looking at the Patriot missile system, uh, defense missile system that has arrived in Japan, uh, look seemingly like getting ready for a U.S. preemptive strike on North Korea. Seems that there is no end in sight of a possible possible conflict. This is uh, coming out of Japanese news. Uh, four different sites there, as you can see on your screen and behind you there, where the Patriot missiles are being deployed there. Uh, and on top of that, this is not the only thing that is actually going on uh, to th th this happening in the region there, but even other news as well. By the way, that was on the Intel Crab Twitter page there where that comes from there. RT also reporting that North Korea threatens Guam with a salvo of missiles, a U.S. gears up for drills with Seoul, South Korea. But you know, as Russia has stated before uh, in some of the drills the U.S. has done near their borders, that there have been times, especially during the Crimean crisis, where the U.S.'s drills were actually considered by Russia as not just drills, but a preemptive strike being planned on Crimea. Now, Russia did put the S-400 system in clear plain view of the satellite uh, operation of the U.S. military, so that they could see that Russia was also ready to engage if that were to come uh, to, to the situation in Crimea at the time. It did not, thank God for that, uh, and it looks like that this may be the very same thing as well. RT has reported in other articles already that it appears to be that the U.S. is getting ready for war with North Korea, not just a uh, another military drill there going on in the country. On top of that, the Sputnik News is reporting that the Tomahawks near the DPRK are a serious challenge to Pyongyang. 150 plus Tomahawk cruise missiles are on this particular submarine that is just docked there inside of uh, South Korea's uh, port there. And clearly, According to Sputnik News, it is a warning to uh, North Korea that the United States is definitely ready to engage if North Korea does not abandon its, abandon its nuclear ambitions. Uh, one of the comments in here says, the goal of my opinions are quite obvious to apply forceful pressure on North Korea with whom Washington is currently in a tense relationship. These cruise missiles, among uh, things, uh, excuse me, among other things can carry nuclear warheads and are capable of hitting targets at a very long distance. Such weapons near North Korea are quite serious challenge to the North Korean regime, uh, Litvokin said. Now those missiles, by the way, have a range of 1,400 kilometers, which is pretty, pretty doggone good distance. Uh, no doubt will not make Russia very happy, North China that close to their own borders. Also, RT is reporting in regards to Damascus, taking our turn away from North Korea for just a moment here, uh, immediate and unconditional pullout of the Turkish troops from northwest Syria. I've been wondering when all that was going to kind of come to head. You know, we've seen some articles that have been suggesting that Turkey, like the U.S., Russia accusing the U.S., colluding with ISIS. Also, there have been articles coming out that says that Turkey is colluding with ISIS uh, in opposition to the Kurds. Now, the U.S. does back the Kurds, but again, the reason the Kurds are being backed at this particular point in time is to gain uh, a little bit more of a handle over uh, Bashar al-Assad and possibly a future conflict in the country there. I still believe that the Erdogan coup that was uh, conducted against this country was staged, and I believe that they have been in collusion with NATO, although pretending to be on the outs uh, with NATO from the beginning. And I think that uh, President Putin has made a fatal mistake uh, in allying himself with Turkey because I believe it will backfire on him in the future. Uh, especially after selling the S-400 missile defense system to, to Erdogan. Very, very dangerous situation indeed there. Uh, also, uh, now this one here, this is dealing with the, um, from Reuters, danger of war, Germany warns after Trump, Trump's move on Iran's nuclear deal. Uh, so there's, you know, the, uh, the Iran nuclear deal is not being met by such optimism by most nations around the world. It is applauded by Israel. Uh, of course, it is applauded by President Trump. Uh, and at one point, it seemed like Rex Tillerson was going the opposite way of Trump on this, but now he's got him behind President Trump now and saying that uh, the deal was no good and something has to be done about it. Well, the question is, is it going to drag uh, Tehran into a war? If Iran ends up doing like that of North Korea, and of course, North Korea already in partnership with Iran, 
It's going to be almost a guaranteed uh, success for nuclear weapons being shipped out to Iran one way or the other, smuggled into that country. Now, right now, I am sure that North Korea is pretty much blocked off by the United States, so smuggling a nuclear warhead out would not be maybe as simple uh, as what we might would think, but you never know. And I think sometimes, you know, trying to flex our muscle a bit too much also could backfire for us. Diplomacy might be a better option in this case here. Uh, I do realize that Iran is a threat for Israel's uh, safety and security, uh, but are we going about it the right way, especially with the tensions that we're facing already with North Korea, and how is that going to play out with Russia and China if in the event we do do a preemptive strike? Remember, China said that if the U.S. does a preemptive strike, then it's not so much that China will stay out of this. Uh, I can't help but think, though, that the U.S. is kind of uh, under the deep state authority there, is not trying to force North Korea into action. Very serious situation indeed. Uh, the U.S. has promised to use uh, some very high sophisticated electronic warfare in trying to stop uh, North Korea's military as well. So there's a lot of different things that are going to be on the uh, battlefield once this battle does kick off. Uh, and also in another news, turning one other place there. This is the French representative to the European Parliament, Emmanuel Fallon. In fact, Emmanuel Fallon will be appearing here on Israeli News Live. We have been invited to the European Parliament to speak to him about glyphosate. Uh, and uh, Monsanto and exactly what they have been doing with this uh, uh, deadly chemical that is in the fertilizer called Roundup, or not fertilizer, but pesticide perhaps, I guess you would call it. And it has been known by scientific studies inside of Europe to cause cancer. Well, in this very interesting article right here, I'll hit the translate button for you here from the French language here, but uh, it says the scientist concludes that there is no danger on the glyphosate, but forgets to say that Monsanto has paid him some 17,700 euros uh, for his research that he does there. So this Professor Kirkland, expert, uh, a scientific and independent scientist who is saying that there is uh, no, uh, no connection between glyphosate and that of uh, the, the, uh, of the studies of what is going on as far as cancer and children, etc. Uh, he has been exposed by Emmanuel Fallon, and we cannot wait to get him on here on the program. We will also be discussing with him vaccines, because glyphosate is also inside vaccines. And you'll find European doctors tend to be a little bit more concerned about what these things are doing. Uh, the country of Hungary also had a crop burning, a public crop burning of all uh, crops that were genetically modified by Monsanto, the, the Monsanto seeds that were used in their crops, because they also were noticing the studies and what was happening to their children. Uh, so it's a very big step to see government officials such as Emmanuel Fallon, who have actually stepped up to the plate, taking on Monsanto and trying to right all the wrongs that are being done by such a massive corporation uh, that is harming the lives of not only our children and our future, but also of adults as well.